it is Labor Day and we are at Sonic and we just got done placing our order. Say hi. hi. And we are enjoying this beautiful day while Scott has to work. So we are about to have a really good lunch. Hey everybody, so we just got back from Sonic and I went and put on a thinner t-shirt and some shorts. It's pretty warm here today. Um, I have the ceiling fans going and the blinds closed in the kitchen area and it's keeping it pretty cool without like running a lot of air. But I'm sure it won't be long until Jackson starts screaming that it's hot upstairs and I have to turn on the air down here um, because heat rises. Um, so right now it's about 2.30 and I'm going to um, work on the computer for about a half hour, try to edit some pictures for a blog post that will go up later this evening on my planner video, and then I'm going to do my first floor weekly cleaning, and by the time I'm done with that, it'll be dinner, showers, bed, and all that good stuff. So, that's what's going on, and, um... I got done my weekend in review and it's on my blog um, if you want to check it out you can just head over there and you'll see that even though you guys see the video there's also a lot that you don't see that I add in on the blog post so um, you might want to head over there and check that out if you're interested hi everybody it's about almost 8 p.m. here on Tuesday night so today I got up did a little bit of work online but it wasn't like blog post or anything and then I had to take Jackson to the dentist and my phone stopped working like while we were out so my GPS wasn't working and I'm I mean it was just insane and um, I had a very very stressful time but my husband managed to talk me through on the phone like directions to get there we had a good appointment we got to go back next Wednesday I came home threw on some comfy clothes and I had some cute cute clothes on today I should have filmed it but um, I got this chalkboard in or this chalkboard I don't know wall decal Sorry about the lighting, but I just wrote a happy September to see how well it would, you'd be able to write on it, and I love it. I'm thinking about ordering four or five more because I think it'd be great in Jackson's room. I really was going to put this one on my desk and be able to write, like, on my desk, but I wanted it in here for menu planning and such, so I'm really happy with it, and it was like $12.00. So that's amazing, and I'll try to remember to put the link below. If I don't, and if I don't remember by the time you know this goes live, shoot me a comment, leave me a, um, a comment, let me know that I forgot, and I'll put it in there. So anyway, I'm going to be making some pancakes and some bacon because you know we were out for a long time today, and um, I'm not cooking a big dinner. But yes, it's just been a busy, crazy day, and. I'm happy that evening is upon us so we can kind of unwind. So I made these little blueberry bites and I made them in my brownie pan. And I'm just pushing it up. Grabbing it out on a bottom. Now I've got to get this out without destroying everything. So there they are. They all came out. They look amazing. Look at that one. Yum. And I got them all on the pretty cake plate. And I think I'm actually going to get a glass of milk, have a couple, and then go upstairs and take a bath. That's what I think I'm doing. But those would be yummy. I'm actually going to bag some up and put them in the refrigerator um, probably tomorrow for Jackson's lunch a couple days this week. Hi, everybody. It is a Wednesday. Mr. Jaggers is off work. Say hi. Hi. We are out running errands. We're in Shelby today, and we're going to Nudes to get one of those amazing cheeseburgers that I love so much. And which burger did I get? Fried tomatoes. No, I'm getting the no. steak burger. Okay. With sweet potato fries. All right. I think I'm going to have a crab, crab cake sandwich. Yes. And so we're going to go grab some lunch. It's a beautiful day, and we are in Shelby, as I said, and it's always pretty down here. There's Nudes. There's Nudes right here on the corner. And we're parking. Oh. <laughs> Parking in these slanted parking spots is hard when you're going in at this angle, but he's doing it. 
Oh my God. Ah, all right. <laughs> Even though it's loud because of the gardener, we got our burgers. There's my steak burger. It's amazing, you guys. And Scott's got his jalapeno burger, and we are going to enjoy our lunch, go see a friend, and then get back home to hang out with Action Jackson. Monopoly night. Monopoly night. For them, not for me. It is so beautiful through here. I absolutely love it. And I don't know why we moved from Shelby, because we're here a lot. Well, we? all our friends and stuff are still up here. We yep. were up here for four years, so we yep. have a lot of friends. And, and we know all the restaurants, yes. and we like them. And, but, um, but I like but, South Carolina better. Well, we do, but we moved from up here maybe for two reasons. Uh, the biggest reason was my job. Um, and then the second reason was, um, you said that you didn't like the... The what? The police. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe we just got, said you that. You got three tickets in two days and was mad one of the both. Yeah. So, yeah, that was, uh... That was part of it. Yeah. So, but anyway, uh... I didn't like North Carolina <laughs> at all for a bunch of reasons, it was, though. They had a good... Jackson had a great school, good teachers, and but I'll tell you what, we've been blessed. He's got terrific teachers where, where he was last year. Yeah. This year, the jury's still out. I got a seat, but, uh, he, he had a... He's last two years down here in school, he's done great, and, and uh, I can't complain, so... Yeah. You know, that was my biggest fear of moving to South Carolina right. was the, the educational system has not been uh, got the greatest reviews in the world. But uh, in this area where we are, uh, in, the, in the greater Spartanburg area, the schools are really good. And um, uh, I'm impressed. Honestly, I am with the, with the, uh, with the teachers. I like the neighbor. Oh, I don't like the neighborhood, but I like South Carolina. I do like it. Well, and that's also we moved into a much bigger house, you know, and uh, so you know, we had a large yard. You know, it's uh, it's quiet. Even though on. the other house is fairly almost the same size. Well, we've got. I mean, this one's Wait. just just under three thousand square feet. The other one was about twenty four hundred. So we got yeah. six hundred square feet. So uh, you know, yeah, it's it is. It's a big house for just us. But you know, I, I wasn't sure it was just going to be us. I thought the kids were going to be in. We still have a lot of company. I just try to keep it down <laughs> as much as possible. Well, it's like I said. It pretty is what it is. Here, you guys. And, um, but anyway, it's beautiful up here. It's still pretty at home, too. It's not yeah. like we're, you know, a thousand miles away. You're talking about a 50 mile difference. Yeah. You know, so. I like South Carolina much better, though. And I'd like to move us right on over to the beach. Or right on down to Florida. To the beach. And make that move. But. Well, if we're going to move to the beach, I want to move to Florida. Because there's no state income tax. So that picks us up, you know, eight percent more every year. And I don't move. I don't want to move in the middle of the school year. So oh, yeah. every time a new school year and rolls around, I feel like I'm here. And just after two years, I've started decorating the house. Oh right. Well, I have news for you. If he wants to stay in these schools and he's got friends up here, we'll stay here until he graduates. Yeah. And then I'll do what I got to do. And then we'll we'll go south. So it's not that I want to move because I don't. I, I like my job. I like the house. I like the hell. I like everything about being down here. I'm very comfortable. And uh, but I know that you want to move to the ocean. And I do. You've wanted to since the beginning. So we've made it 11 years so far. We can make it another five, six, or seven if we need to. Yeah, I guess. We'll just keep visiting. <laughs> and uh, we'll get down there eventually, that's for sure. Well, I think what we ought to do maybe is maybe in the next couple of years we'll give it uh, maybe try to maybe get, us, uh, get us a place or something down there. And, um, maybe snowboard or something? Yeah, you know, well, I was thinking like maybe just some property. Uh, just buy just the property and then, you know, pay for it over the next four or five years. And then by the time we're ready to retire, we can build a house there and they can do our thing. You know, I say retire. That's I say let's just go wing it and wing it and pack up the U-Haul <laughs> and the animals and go find a place to let's freaking rent happens. and let's just do it. Right. Just load well, them up. That's, that's easy for the, for the homemaker to say. Yes. That's not so much for the guy that's got to support us. Well. You can find a job down there. I mean, I'm sure I can find a job anywhere, but it doesn't mean I want to go look for a job because I certainly don't. No, we're here for a while until Jackson, until Jackson decides, basically. Well, uh, that's funny you say that, but really, I mean, that's what's most important is that, that yes. you know, we keep a stable home environment for the kids. And, I, and not just Jackson. I like kids. moving around, yes, I but, do. you know, Jackson, the kids don't want to move around as much as I do. But I've got Jackson talked into moving to the beach. But well, that's because he thinks he's going to go boogie boarding every day and not have to go to school. You can't, you, no. We can not homeschool every day, even let that, him swim. He thinks that you would live at a resort with with six pools and a lazy river uh, and an ice cream <laughs> shop and all that stuff. And he doesn't understand that it would actually be like real life down there, not, not living every day at the beach. You know what? We could homeschool him and we could uh -huh. let him, we could let him train in the water. Yeah, that would work out well. 
You may have a tough time in math class, wouldn't you? Yes, no, both, you would teach it. Because both of you would know what's going on. <laughs> you would be teaching it. You teach math. I wouldn't be teaching math. I'd be teaching English. Uh huh. Murder with a comma. Do you know murder with a comma? Um, yes, I do. Unfortunately for you, some of the things you say, <laughs> I don't know that I'd let you teach me English. Oh, uh, well. Like, ain't got no. <laughs> oh, my that's, God. A, that's a good one for you. I ain't got no such and such. Or whatever. I know proper grammar. I know how to write it, even though it doesn't always show on the blog. I love this little church right up here. This is such a pretty little that church. The church is over 100 years old. I think it's sweet. The original it's a church. Methodist church. Yeah, the original church. Uh, the only reason I know it's because Reed told me. Uh, That's the original church. church yeah. Scott belongs you see where the Do you see where the uh, smokestack is for the chimney? Mm -hmm. The original church stopped there. And it was just in the front over here. I think it's adorable. I love it. And um, we still need to find a church, you guys. We just haven't found one yet. Um, I'm going to go, uh, sun Sunday we're going to go to the New Beginnings up there and see what we think about it. It's a Methodist church. It's a, um, They have two services. They've got the, the morning traditional service and then the afternoon contemporary service. I like Marjorie's church. Which is the same church. So, you know, it's a, for me it's a question of finding the right pastor, not so much the church. In the church, I could go to church with 20 people or 20,000 people. I just have to like the pastor. And I haven't found one I like the pastor yet. We're still doing Joe Olstein and Kabbalah and hoping that wards off some of the evil eye that comes my way. Um, but um, I need to um, I need to get home and make a video, you guys. I didn't film yesterday. I went to film a let me flip the camera around and I'll talk to you. I went to film a um, blogger tutorial last night because my blog tutorial that I put up over a year ago did really really well and I get so many questions about when I'm going to post the next one so I started to do it last night and I had changed like my test blog the blog that I was using in that tutorial around when I was testing out different themes I wanted from my personal blog at kjackers.com but I actually was making the changes to my actual blog, my my blog, and it was insane because I previewed it and saw, holy shit, my blog had totally changed. And so I spent the majority of the late night till about uh, about 3 a.m. Fixing what you messed up. Yes, I, yes, I did. And so. Um, I didn't get that filmed, obviously, and I'm going to try to film that today and maybe a, a lunchbox video, but... Which last night was supposed to be date night. We were supposed to go out and have fun together, and your night was consumed with talking on the phone to my daughter about her blog and then fixing yours. So, the blog... Met Scott went to bed early. Yes, but he needed to sleep. It was all right. Huh. You needed it, didn't you? Yeah, I got a good night's rest. Huh? I got a good night's rest. I know you did. Until I got up at Doug Jackson School this morning. Yes, I told you I was going to tell you. Well, I know it's your dad. <laughs> it was my day, and he offered. It's always your day. It's not always my day. No, it's always your day. You know why? Why? Because you're at home. I'm editing that out. Hi, everybody. So, we are back, and in the car, I pinched a nerve. It hurts so bad. So, I took a muscle relaxer, put one of these little heating things on, and hoping it helps. So, I haven't updated you guys on this particular thing I'm about to talk about because, um... I didn't know what the outcome would be. I still don't, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. So, you know, my mom married my stepdad, I don't know, when I was 11 or 12. They were married till I was in my 20s. I think they were together 14 or 16 years. He had two children from a previous marriage. She had me um, from previous marriage. And when, you know, they got together and blended families, all of us were together. And then my sister was conceived and born. So now you're up to speed. So my stepbrother, his name is Shannon, um, lives in Florida. And I lived with him for a long, long time um, when I lived with my mom and my stepdad down there. And, um, you know, he's been, you know, a, definitely a part of our family for many, many years. And he um, is dying. He is, I don't know his exact age. I know he's older than me, and I'm 38, so I'm guessing he's 41 to 45. I don't know for sure. Um He's having internal problems, and, um, you know, it's really hard. And before everyone asks, he, um, 
he drinks a lot or drank a lot and I think it damaged a lot of his internal in, uh, internal organs. He is currently in the hospital. And um, I've asked for prayers on Facebook and such. And by the time you see this video, I could already be down in Florida at the memorial. Um, if he doesn't pull through, he's on life support, little brain activity, liver and kidneys, like shutting down. He's bleeding internally. And it's a mess. Now, I haven't seen him. In probably two or three years, uh, maybe, I don't know. I seen his dad at Christmas, which is my ex-stepdad, because my mom and his dad divorced. Um, and um, and Lacey's parents, obviously. Um, but, yeah, it's really sad. And um, there's a good chance I'm going to fly out to Florida for the memorial if it happens. Um, I, you know, my family was letting me know that Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow, I think they're supposed to make a decision on whether to take him off life support. My stepdad's a mess. Um, it's just a very challenging time. So, even if he has already passed by the time you're watching this video, which you'll know um, if I put a link up or not a link up, description maybe or a note, or if you watch the end of the video and see that I'm in Florida, you will be... Um, aware but he still needs prayers even if he passed over and so does his family so you guys are some of the best people I know um, and it's weird to say that about internet friends but it's the truth because so many of you have lifted me in your thoughts and your prayers and my family in different circumstances over the years and I am thankful to all of you and I hope that maybe if you have the time you can put Shannon and our family in your prayers. Um, my sister posted a video of him um, on her Facebook page of him on life support just to kind of give an update, but I'm not going to show that because obviously um, she posted it and also um, she posted it for her family and friends and that's, sorry, not you guys for the most part. So I'm not going to show that, but um, he's in really, really bad shape. So... I'm probably going to figure out when the memorial is, if they, you know, if he doesn't pull through, head down there for a couple days and head right back home. So, um, it would just be me. I'm guessing my family right there won't be going with me. They would be staying home and taking care of everything, and I would be heading down for a funeral. So, yeah, that's what's going on. It's Monopoly night, and the boys are playing. And there's hotels, hotels all around the board. Mm -hmm. Jackson just blew out all of his money by landing on one of Scott's properties. And that's the way it always goes. Okay, so you still owe me $45. How do you want to handle it? <laughs> so I'm just putting the Bible up. This is Jackson's Bible. I've showed it a bazillion times. Tonight we were going over Samuel. And I love, let me go to the couch where I can sit it down. I love this Bible. Um, it's so informative for the kids. And it's got so many different things that they discover. And it's such a good working Bible for young kids. I love it. Um, and he is slowly getting through the pages of Samuel. So... Um, I highly recommend this Deep Blue Bible if you have younger kids. It's super nice. Hi, everybody. It's Thursday, so, um, I'm pretty much hanging around the house today and, um, trying to get a few things caught up on the computer and here at home. My stepbrother, um, is in critical condition right now. I think most of the family are, um coming to terms to take him off life support sometime today. And like I said, I'll probably be flying down there. It's really sad. And um, I don't even know what to say except, you know, I hope he rests in peace. And um, I hope that his mom and dad, my stepdad, my ex-stepdad, and his mom and my mom and my sister and his other siblings, I hope they, um, I hope they get through it okay. I know it. I, um, I can't imagine what it would be to bury a child. So um, we're just waiting and seeing what happens. I'll kind of keep you guys posted, of course. And um, I'm just working around the house today. So I've been working on the computer. I need to clean up a little bit. I need to make some videos. I've got a lot of stuff going on. So that's what's happening so far. 
So the UPS man delivered a box from House Party and um, um, I delivered my party pack. And this is one of the best ones yet. So this is the Red Book L'Oreal Happy Hour House Party. It comes with a ton of stuff. And look at all these lipsticks and samples of the Triple Resist. Amazing. Oh my God. And then more samples of the Miracle Blur. A full size box of the Revita Lift Miracle Blur Eye Treatment. More samples of the L'Oreal Revita Lift uh, Miracle Blur here. And this is more samples of the Miracle Blur um, Instant Eye Smoother. Um, which is amazing. I love houseparty.com, you guys. It's fabulous. This is the best party box I've gotten yet. And I'm super excited about it. I still got a lot of stuff to go through. And I'll be back to talk to you more about that sometime really soon. So I just got done filming my birch box, my goodie box, and my ipsy bag for August. I film them at the end of the month or beginning of the following month because usually I wait for all three boxes to come in. I'm happy that is done. I've been running behind with my videos here lately. And um, I have more to make today, but I'm happy that one's done. So I am making some meatloaf for dinner tonight. One, because my family loves meatloaf. And two, if I have to go away, this is something they could definitely warm up and reheat um, if they wanted. So um, I've got that. And what in here, I think I'm showing this recipe. I have um, almost two pounds of ground chuck, some panko breadcrumbs, a couple eggs, ketchup, mustard, some more shire sauce, about a half a cup of brown sugar, garlic powder, salt, there's pepper in here too, and thyme. So I'm going to get my rings off and get this mixed up and in the pan. All right, there we go. I will drain it. This is really heavy too. I will drain it um, as, um, you know, it cooks, but it's going in the oven. And then I'll top it with ketchup and um, brown sugar and more sour sauce with a real thick like glaze. And my family will eat that up. So here is the meatloaf. My rings are still right there. Looks delicious. I got the mashed potatoes done and I've got the corn done. So I'm going to plate up dinner. Hi everybody, it's still Thursday, it's 7.47 and I'm just reporting, sadly reporting, that Shannon passed away about an hour ago, so it's really sad and um, may he forever rest in peace and I know he'll be missed dearly, so that's what's going on. Good morning everybody, it is Friday. And, um, I only got a couple minutes. I'm getting ready to, um, go get my nails done and get a pedicure. I need one. It's not too sunny. It's not too dark. It's actually quite peaceful this morning. And I'm going to get ready and head out the door. Hello. So, um, I'm getting ready to head out. I'm going to go get my nails done and my toes done. And, um, Jackson and his friend will be here in just a little while. But I need to get moving. And I'm just going to go get my nails done. Go to the bank. I should do a little shopping, but I think I'm putting it off, um, for a day or so. So, um, right now it's just nails and the bank. And away we go. So, I'm back in the nail salon. Let me show you the nail design. Um, on my toes so you can see it's just a pretty flowery design looks really cute and then it's the same on this one um, and on my fingernails I just have the American manicure that's like my standard manicure um, because the longer the nail the more color in my opinion makes them just look so tacky so this is pretty much me every time um, sometimes there's an exception but my nails, my real nails, are as long as the nails um, that I have on. So, she pretty much grinded them down to almost my nail anyway. And the next time, we are going to soak these off. And we're going to do overlays on my nails. And, um, yeah, I won't have any more of the acrylic fake nails. They'll be mine just with, you know, a hardening overlay on them. So, it's funny because they... 
they tend to grow better under the acrylic nails um, and they grow but when they're left on their own they don't grow so go figure but um, I'm happy I got that done today so as you can see I wrote on my chalkboard and I just put the menu up um, because it's right here kind of in the kitchen area um, but I really like it and I think I'm gonna do a full review on this and I'm also going to maybe host a giveaway I don't know you guys interested in winning one of these let me know in the comments below and maybe I will host a giveaway maybe two of you guys could win um, one of these chalkboard wall decals um, it's super nice super super nice and I just smeared it um, but I love it and I'm very 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 happy with it it's super nice so I didn't eat when I was out today getting my nails done I did go to the bank and I was in quite a hurry I just wanted to come home so today I'm having just some mac and cheese looks yummy it's super hot though while I'm working on a blog post and this one is the battle of the boxes so I'm getting ready to post that while eating this and I'm really hungry so I think tonight we probably will have pizza or something because Jackson and his little friend just came in from school and I don't know exactly what I'm making them or what um, you know we'll pick up but I think we'll probably pick something up for him we are picking out a new stove we got it I like to come get a new refrigerator but until I buy a house there's no sense unless I just want to move it but this one I like a lot it's not even that much it's 1200 hmm my husband's down there in the orange so the boys Jack and Zach and Scott are shooting off fireworks And probably making all the neighbors mad. Ah. Hi. We don't have to call the fire department tonight. Yep. Bless us. Do not. I said, I'm going to load up it. Call us through the iron. Call us through the iron. And then practicing Spanish. And there's the moon. Beautiful. So they're probably really about to piss off the neighbors. They're out front and they're up to no good. And there's one adult out there. It's up to no good. It's only like nine o'clock. But I can imagine this might not make anybody too happy. We'll see. That was not exciting. Good. At least it's quiet. Here they go again. Up to no good. At least they're quiet. These ones are quiet. They just spin around. See? Not that exciting. I'm going in. So, Scott picked up dinner tonight. He got pizza for the boys because Zachary's here. And another pizza and cheesy bread for me and chicken for me because I don't really like their pizzas a whole lot but I do like cheesy bread so that was our very simple 12 year old inspired dinner tonight so I'm really happy to be getting in my bathtub it's pretty dirty um, it's really from Lush and different bath products that I've been using but I'm going to get in here and show you guys how well the Magic Clean Eraser works in a separate video 
um, very soon, so that's why I haven't cleaned it in like a week. But it's just bath products, and um, when you drop like a bath bomb in here, it just makes a mess of the tub. Once it goes down and I can wipe out the bottom, it still leaves a mess around the edges. It just does. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I clean that in a different video. But I am going to enjoy my bath, see if there's any new YouTube videos I want to watch, and just have a very um, relaxing few moments in my bath. That's what's happening. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, um, the 6th of September, and it's beautiful out. I'm doing some computer work. I got the TV going, and I've got my coffee. So I'm going to do a little work on the computer. I'm going to head out and check out the P.O. box. I'm going to drop the boys off skating at 5, and I got a few errands to run with my husband. So that's what's happening tonight and today. Um, I'm not even going to clean up to go to the P.O. box. I'm just going to run there and run back and then film a open P.O. box video. That should be up Sunday. Yay! All but one of the animals are in here asleep. There's Gabby. She looks peaceful. If you can see her ears, she knows I'm talking about her. Then over here, you got Romeo and Cooper like butt to head. Look at the cat right next to the dog. And then over here, Willow is sleeping. And in the dining room, I believe, Cupcake is sleeping. So, it's the middle of the afternoon, and every single person, every single person, every single animal in my house is crashed out. She actually looks really, really comfy. So, one of the fundraisers that my kids are doing at school are these Attractions Dining and Value Guide for our area. And there's tons of coupons. In fact, where'd they go? They just took coupons. Here they are. They just took a coupon to the skate skating rink. And um, you want to know what my son and his friend did with their books? They decided that they didn't want to sell them. They never brought them home. They had a stack of them to sell. They took them back up to the office and told them they weren't doing it. So that's lovely. Didn't even know that. My husband came home with this book and said a kid at the dealership um, was selling them and he he bought one him and his friend so yeah we should have been buying one from our son but instead um he's not selling them but there's so many good coupons so we're gonna have to be sure to use them but we are taking advantage they just went to skaters tonight so we're out and about and i finally found the trader joe's it is right over here and i haven't shopped there i know some people who do and I've also seen some hauls on YouTube um, about their great prices, lots of organic foods. Maybe Trader I will Joe's, have to Trader Joe's uh, grocery the same store. People that own all these. Yeah, and I will probably come over here and try it. Maybe it'll be worth it. I don't know. If it saves us a lot of money. Well, maybe it'd be worth it. But now I know where it's at. We are back at Manny's, and I got this delicious-looking ribeye sandwich and some fries. These are Greek potatoes, and Scott got himself a salad. So that's dinner tonight. Yum. So tonight my husband was really kind and cleaned up the kitchen, and um, he didn't put some stuff away that he washed on the stove. That is the new stove. Um, but I came downstairs to set the DVR on the TV for something, and I saw this note to the boys. I thought it was really cute and um, sweet. So those little whiteboards are amazing for, you know, notes to the family. The cats think they're going to eat, but they are on dry food only. So they're like a little pack of wild cats around here starving, um, wanting to eat. There's another one right there and another one right there. So I just got done a little while ago filming all of my stuff from the P.O. box. It's still in here, obviously, and I'm going to have to start putting it up tonight so I can, um, you know, have room for new stuff. So that's happening um, sometime very soon in the next few minutes. 
so look at these cute little post-it notes and stickies I found on Etsy. I think they were like 3 or $4. I can't remember exactly. I can find the link and try to remember to put it below. And if I forget, you guys can remind me. They're super tiny and they're cute. And this upcoming week, it's Sunday and I'm planning. As you guys know, most of the time I plan, you know, um, on Sundays. But I'm using them for my blog post and my video um schedule. I haven't written anything on them yet, but I like being able to move them around because sometimes I change what videos are going up on um, different days. So um, I just wanted to show you how cute they are and they're adorable. I'm working on my grocery list and I'm working at the computer. So as the night has progressed, I've continued to plan work on the grocery list, work on quite a bit of other stuff too. We had McDonald's for dinner. Scott picked it up after he dropped Zachary off and picked up the boys from the um, skating rink. And um, I have a few things to get ready for tomorrow, but hold on, let me flip the camera around. And look, Jackson bought me this little ring at the bowling alley. It's so sweet. So I just got done a little while ago filming all of my stuff from the P.O. box. It's still in here, obviously, and I'm going to have to start putting it up tonight so I can, um, you know, have room for new stuff. So that's happening um, sometime very soon in the next few minutes. So another job I got done was moving all of the stemware and jars that we don't use on a daily basis above the stove and I cleared out this cabinet and I'll show you why in an upcoming video really really soon but we still left some wine glasses down um, and the rest just went right on top so it works out and it helps to you know use space up that really wasn't being utilized that well before and I also have my sister's pictures right here and she painted these for me last Christmas, I think, and I think they're adorable. So they hang right there. And they look really good right there with the light at night. So I love them. The lighting's kind of messed up. But again, all the stemware has been moved. I'll definitely have to clean it if I, you know, have a party and have people over. But we left down like two martini glasses and four wine glasses. That should be enough for now. Um, and again, if we have company, I can get more down and just wash them. So I'm continuing upstairs with um, my planning. Um, as I showed you a little bit earlier, I always plan on Sundays. And I do have a video about that. I've been working on my grocery list and um, just trying to get things set up for this week. I'm going to make a to-do list just for this week of some different projects I want to get done, some things I have um, that need to be done, and um, I've been working on video stuff. These are all videos. Um, I've been working on our menu. Like I said, the grocery list. I've been working a lot on different stuff for different videos. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time um, continuing to work on the grocery list and fill in our appointments and to-dos in my planner um, now that I'm upstairs. Hi everybody, so I'm finishing this vlog up kind of late. It's about 12.30. I will work on um, saving it tonight and then uploading it when I get up. If it doesn't, you know, save by time I go to bed. So I have been planning, as I showed you just a little bit ago, I've had a shower, my hair is still kind of damp, but hopefully before I fall asleep it won't dry a little bit more. Um, you know, today was pretty good, I stayed home most of the day and um, I worked on the computer, got a lot of stuff done. Jackson and his friend went to the skating rink and it was, you know, quite the ordeal, so... I give both boys 40 or $20 a piece, and they were supposed to, you know, pay their way in and have some spending money. Well, it just so happens that Jackson paid for a lot of it. The other child pocketed the money, and then um, 
after Jackson, you know, ran out of money because he paid for the other one to get in, which wasn't the deal. The other child wouldn't even give him 25 cents for a drink. So Jackson's pretty upset. And for the first time ever, I think he almost feels used. And um, it was really hard to see him go through that. It was just, um, just one of those things that, you know, every child goes through at different times. But I don't think the other child um, really meant anything bad by it. I just think it was hard. And I think, you know, they're kids and they're going to make bad decisions. Maybe I wasn't clear enough because, you know, when I hand Jackson or any of Jackson's friends or Brittany or her friends, you know, say $20 to go to the bowling alley. I don't expect for them to like starve and save their money for something else. If I give it to them for an activity, I expect for it to go to that activity. And if there's change left over when they're done, I expect it back. So maybe I didn't make that really clear. Um, but if it happens again, I will. Scott was really upset because Jackson was upset. It was just, it was just not exactly, um, the way I hope today would turn out. But last night was better. They had a great time last night. It just, you know, maybe they're like any other kids. If they spend too much time together, then they, um, you know, start arguing and get bored and all that kind of stuff with each other. So that was interesting. And Scott went golfing this morning. He did really good. Um, and, um... I'm still thinking about my stepbrother a lot and his parents and his death. It's been heavily on my mind. We still don't know the plans exactly because he was going to have a memorial in Florida and then they were cremating him and his mom was taking his urn, back, his urn and his ashes back to Ohio. So I don't know. We're still trying to figure all that out. But, um... In terms of family, it was definitely a hard week. Yeah. It was hard. It's still hard. You know, his parents are really dealing with the pain now that they're back home. It's um, three days later. The house is probably quiet. And you know, it's hard for them. So, please keep them in your prayers. Um, they need it. So, um, for the upcoming week, Tomorrow I'm going grocery shopping because I didn't go today, and um, I'll film that haul, have it up on Tuesday. I have lots of other videos, a video a day popping up on my main channel, which you're probably watching this on my main channel because I upload it first to my main channel and then second to my vlogging channel. So um, I'll have more videos on this channel, and... Um, I hope you guys go visit Laura's blog. I love her dearly. I'm so happy she's blogging. I think, I think she's going to be a natural, so definitely check her out. And, um, I will see you tomorrow. Good night. I hope you guys had a blessed week, a beautiful week. You can let me know in the comments below how your week was. And, um, I'd love to hear from you, so... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Good night.